This is my speed build of the Mega Bloks Halo UNSC Short Sword. In all, it took me two and a half hours to assemble the 471 bricks and apply a huge amount of decals. I'm only building this model so I can compare it to a LEGO Star Wars Jedi T6 shuttle, which is a comparative size to this Halo model. And I know you're possibly thinking I'm totally crazy to even consider this, but believe me I've had loads of feedback related to the Mega Bloks Halo sets. Brick builders out there tell me this is a huge improvement on the earlier Mega Bloks sets. But possibly what's more important here, do Halo fans feel this is a good model? You're never going to get the LEGO fanboys coming across and building a Mega Bloks set. When I was building this model I made a number of mistakes, especially when I was building the first wing. And what is interesting, you're supplied a number of little yellow bricks to assist you in building these wings. The wing assembly has all sorts of overlapping bricks of various shapes and sizes. And one thing that doesn't help in this set, that everything is in a style of grey. The degree of difficulty in building I felt was greater with this set compared to the LEGO Jedi T6 shuttle. And I'm going to pinpoint what I believe is the cause of this, and it's the way Mega Bloks do their build books. This time round, during this build, I made sure I only had one page of the build book visible so my eyes would not wander onto tasks which weren't needed. I feel Mega Bloks tend to stack up too many multiple tasks into a single instruction, and that's something that you won't find in a LEGO build. Nevertheless, this is shaping up to be a very impressive model. And because I'm not a Halo fanboy, this model reminds me of the experimental jets that the Germans had during the 1940s. I can also feel there's a little bit of stealth design here, let's just hope it's not Chinese stealth. Considering the laying of bricks and the core size of this model, I'm wondering how it's going to survive the drop test. At 620 grams, it's a very heavy model for its size. Let's just say it doesn't look like the sort of model which would bounce too well. My gut feeling is a 2 meter drop will have this model back to its component pieces in a millisecond. And I really don't want to go through that 2.5 hour building session again. If you're at all fearful of applying loads and loads of decals, I suggest this is not a model for you. Mind you, the decals really do raise the overall look of this very beautiful model. And once it's all built and finished, I've got to say I'm fairly impressed with how it looks.